Welcome everybody, welcome back to the transformation stage. Uh, I really hope that you got a chance to answer to the uh, poll that we have right now in the session. If not, do make sure that you go to the section part, which is next to the talk, answer the poll. You have two options, it's pretty easy. Make sure that you uh, you share your, uh, your insights over there. Um, together with me right now, I have Mihail Mushat, Director of uh, Technical Operations at Big Step. Uh, he's going to be talking about Black Friday, how to become a success story. Uh, Mihai, uh, Mihail has, uh, has over 15 years of experience in various IT areas. He's an experienced trainer, author, and promoter. Mihail, thank you so much for being today with us. Thank you very much for inviting me. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward, I don't know. Um, first of all, the, the answers to the poll. Uh, I just want to to know, you know, what's my audience because uh, I cannot see my audience. <laughs> so yeah, at least a little bit of interaction uh, so that I can, you know, present uh, today's session uh, in a relevant uh, way to the audience. Yeah. So so it's it's really interesting because while you were while you were discussing this introduction, I saw the percentages shift back and forth. Um, yeah, this is this is uh, the setting in uh, nowadays. Uh, to share the poll results with you, we have 77% have not been involved in a business uh, online. It has now okay. shifted to 80%. So 80% and 20%, <laughs> this is what you're playing with. It's constantly going to be probably shifting, but you got the picture. Yeah, yeah. The vast majority of the participants have not been involved with an e-commerce business. And with this, I'm passing the floor to you, Mihail. You have the stage. Okay, thank you. So I cannot really see the stage, but uh, at least I hope you you guys can see me. Uh, and um, I will also share the screen so you can see the presentation. Um, just a second. Okay, so Andre, can you see my presentation? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so I see at least the participant, Andre. Now I cannot see him anymore. Um, so hello, everybody. Um, as Andre mentioned, my name is Mihai Mushad, and I'm, I'm working for Big Step. I'll be trying to, to have a brief introduction prior to getting to our demo. Is, yeah, it's a demo stage, but I wanted to make a brief regarding, you know, what's the impact for an e-commerce business uh, for Black Friday. So, you know, um, EMAG in Romania announced that um, two days from now they will be having their, their Black Friday. Um, it's probably the biggest uh, online platform in Romania, e-commerce platform in terms of the number of uh, views, in, the, in terms of number of sales. And um, for them and for others, um, you know, the vast majority of, uh, of sales and the spikes in traffic happens in the morning. I don't know, it's somewhere in between 6 and 8 a.m. I actually saw this morning uh, a post from EMAG announcing uh, again, that uh, on Friday they will be they will be kicking off their Black Friday, and uh, there was a comment from there that had the biggest number of likes, saying that I'm looking forward to wake up and and um, open uh, Emag and see that uh, the most important products have already been sold. So that's how uh, in the morning uh, the traffic 
can get up to um, 1,200% uh, more than the usual days for, for such a platform. Um, yeah, so the impact starting, starting from that bigger number of customers wanted, wanting to buy products from the, from the online shop um, has a lot of impact, um, but here because Big Step um, is gonna have you know this demo on um, on hosting platform, we're gonna talk about the traffic and bandwidth impact and the server load. Um, there is a lot of impact also on other components of an online co online commerce uh, website, but we're not gonna. Um, detailed those in this presentation. So for traffic and bandwidth, as I said earlier, uh, um, yeah, we can see here like in uh, the below chart that um, we're getting these spikes comparing to, you know, what is the normal traffic. And then um, you can see in the top chart that Black Friday, especially in this uh, time frame between six uh, and eight has uh, the biggest spike. And now all this, it's very, very important to translate into 100% uptime. So few seconds or few minutes of that websites not being available can translate into loss of, I don't know, depending on the number of sales that can be generated, I mean, of hundreds of or thousand or hundreds of thousands of uh, dollars. Going out also on the server load side, um, you can see that uh, the increase can be up to four times um, on the load and then on the CPU utilization, you know, a server like any other laptop or, or, or desktop um, can get really high spikes, you know, on CPU utilization as well. And here you can see the same that it can get up to four times more. And we will get to the point where we will really need to understand why is this important? Because like, for example, if you have um, a server, virtual or physical, where you host your website and normally you're staying in a capacity of server load of, I don't know, above 60%, um, both on the total load side and CPU utilization, which is processor, um, then when you need to have four times more, you won't have that capacity. And that will translate in your website being um, either loading really, really slow, either uh, not loading at all. So all this translates in the end in money. Um, I found, you know, an interesting um, graph uh, visual on, on, on Cloudflare and they were saying, you know, that if a page, um, home page or product page loads in maximum 245 seconds, uh, 2.4 seconds, you know, the conversion rate is 1.9%. Um, but if the time, um, it's like getting more than 5.7 seconds, the conversion rate decreases below 0 0.6. So now depending on how much um, money that, that website is normally selling or would like to sell on Black Friday, the difference in between these can actually have an impact every minute. So every minute, if you don't have the right uh, platform, if you don't have the right infrastructure in terms of the server that you host your website on, you can lose money. Um, and now just, you know, starting from again, an information on entrepreneur.com, um, there was conducting a, conducted a study where it says that 40% of the subjects claim that they would leave a web page that takes more than three seconds to load. Yeah. And then 
this can result in a 7% loss in conversion. So if we look per year, yeah, this is not necessarily related to Black Friday, but the day-to-day, um, you know, impact, um, if the business uh, earns like 2K uh, dollars per day, on a yearly basis, they can lose um, 50K. Um, on Black Friday, depending on the business, um, this amount of 2K can be multiplied by, I don't know, three times, four times, five times, or even more for other websites. So um, that can translate into bigger losses in only one day if your website is not available. So now, what are normally uh, the options for a website, an online uh, e-commerce uh, website uh, that, you know, sells whatever it can sell services, products, or even a mix of those. Um, we have, first of all, the, the uh, servers. We, you can buy or you can rent uh, a dedicated server uh, that can be uh, not shared with anybody else. Can be That's why it's called dedicated server. It can be allocated only for that particular customer or website or uh, you know, the trend uh, in the last uh, at least 10 years, uh, but actually it's more globally, um, it can be cloud. And in the cloud, the advantage is that, you know, it, it's uh, definitely costing less and um, it's more scalable. So in the cloud environment, it means that you don't actually get a physical machine, you don't get a server, you don't get a dedicated computer just for your website, but you get um, virtual resources. Uh, and those virtual resources are spread um, among, I don't know, uh, many, many servers for a cloud provider, like, I don't know, um, Google, like, or Amazon, and it's very easy to scale that environment whenever your traffic increases and there is more demand for um, server resources. So in that regard, uh, you know, cloud has proved to be a very reliable um, resource for um, different online businesses. But on the other hand side, um, the um, power that the dedicated servers was, was coming with, uh, sometimes it proves that on the cloud environment, there is not enough power. So having this in mind, that each of these had advantages and disadvantages, um, at one point uh, with Big Step, um, you know, we created uh, this product at the time, but later on became um, a company that hosted only this, this product. Uh, it's bare metal servers, which bare metal servers is um, coupling the, the dedicated resources with the flexibility in terms of scaling up, adding more resources or scaling down, decreasing the amount of resources uh, like you're doing it in a cloud environment. Yeah, so, you know, to be more specific, um, you can keep the advantages that you have with dedicated servers, uh, which is speed and power, but you can also take advantage of a scalable infrastructure and instant provisioning times for, um, can be either extra servers or can be extra storage. In the same time, uh, you keep the increased security and high speed networking, because we saw that there is a big impact on the networking side when it comes to Black Friday, or can be also other campaigns. I focused my presentation on Black Friday because it's right, right about the corner, but in fact, uh, the impact is like for any campaign that um, has an increase in uh, views, in increased in orders for an online commerce platform. And last but not least, 
take into account that the platform uh, offers on-demand resources, there is, uh, you know, uh, still the advantage in terms of cost that you can pay only um, when you're using those resources. On the same side, if you want some cost predictability, um, you can reserve those servers in advance. So you can actually play around with or on demand or dedicated resources, reserved resources, however is best for your business. Yeah, so more specifically, um, you know, the platform, which is called Metal Cloud, um, can provision bare metal servers. I don't know. So we can have uh, today a server with uh, eight processor cores and uh, 32 gigs of RAM. And then to to upgrade it starting tomorrow to 40 uh, processors and um, then 384 gigs of RAM. Uh, actually, and this is actually a downtime of just a few minutes. Uh, so it can be done um, from one hour to the other. And then after the campaign is finished, you can get back to the previous resources. Um, now, to, we'll have two examples. One of them, it's an e-commerce website where, um, you know, the customer came to us and said, you know, for Black Friday, what I want you guys to do is to replace one of my uh, servers for my infrastructure uh, with a powerful one. It's exactly what I presented in this case. And um, so it was something that happened in a matter of minutes. Um, their, their live server uh, has been uh, shifted from um, the um, lower resources server to higher resources server. And they want to use this server for one month. They also ran some tests, and that's why they wanted to have for one month. So they make sure that uh, they made all the necessary tests prior to Black Friday. And also, as you know, Black Friday comes with a Black Week after it. After it. And so most of the e-commerce websites actually prolonged their campaigns. So they took it for one month. Um, there are other servers in this infrastructure. One of them is staging, where they do a lot of testing prior to putting their code in production and the backup machine. Another scenario, which I also show how easy it is to expand, is starting from um, this kind of uh, infrastructure, where the customer has uh, some load balancing machines, all the traffic from the internet, is actually getting first to this machine. So every viewer that visits, uh, I don't know, let's say um, emac.raw, it's not the case because emacs infrastructure is way, way different, but you know, just to have a reference point. So all the viewers um, first hit these two machines and this, these two machines distribute the traffic to the web machines. Now, um, the biggest load is on the web machines because um, here is the biggest increase in terms of server load and CPU load. And so um, if on a day-to-day -day basis this would be the normal setup, I will show you now how easy it is to actually expand this setup um, with uh, what I said is that the Big Step Metal Cloud platform. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is the infrastructure that I showed you earlier. And now uh, if I want to add a server, uh, yeah, I will just drag and drop. I will add it here on the same row with the other servers. And now I will get to a page where I actually need to choose uh, the server configuration. I will choose the first server from the list. Then how many servers do I want? Actually, one server for the time being, it's enough. OK, uh, this is the kind of uh, booting drive, you know, like you have on any um, laptop. There, you know, a hard drive is necessary. This is actually a network attached drive. 
and then the operating systems because once I'm choosing all these details and um, I want to create this infrastructure, then um, the operating system will be automatically installed. I can choose also the size of the drive and now I choose create. Okay, in a mat matter of, uh, you know, Second, uh, this gets created. Um, actually, you see, it was not created where I wanted. So I just dragged and drop from here and I add it where I wanted. Of course, I can change the name to put here Web04. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. And then I can choose also other details. Um, I can add more servers. I can customize, you know, firewall settings, or um, I can actually delete uh, or detach a drive. Now, um, this is an example, you know, uh, which is possible for all our customers. And then, uh, because this is on-demand usage, now whenever they want, they can actually stop this instance. Uh, um, and when the instance is being stopped, that instance, uh, you know, the customer doesn't need to pay for it anymore. And I will show you an example here. Yeah, just a second. And as you can see, because I've, I've been navigating here, uh, in my account, in um, the Metal Cloud uh, account, I can have several infrastructures. So like, for example, um, if I, had, I don't know, if I'm an admin of several uh, websites, I can have for each of them a different infrastructure. And then I can easily navigate in between them. Now, in this infrastructure, I just wanted to show you that you know, this machine, actually there in total two instances uh, are stopped. So even though I have them here, um, these ones are not billed. Yeah, so I don't pay money for them. They are just allocated, allocated in this diagram and uh, that's it. I pay only for the active nodes. Yeah? And every time I do a change, I can hit deploy changes and then those changes go to production. So one last thing that I wanted to show you is how easy it is to create a new infrastructure. And with this, probably I'll be finishing my, uh, my demo. So live testing. We have the possibility of uh, provisioning servers in two data centers. I will choose UK for this one. And now I'm, I will be getting to the page, you know, where I can create my, my first server. And actually to this page, we've been already, so I won't go through these steps anymore. Um, going back to, to the presentation, um, one last thing that it's important uh, for every online e-commerce platform is to take care of, uh, you know, knowing your needs. So we recommend, you know, having some, uh, using some performance and load testing um, tools. These are some, just some examples that can actually simulate, you know, uh, different numbers of concurrent users on your website and actually this resulting, you know, on accurate information regarding, you know, what went well, what didn't went well, what do you need to change in the code? What do you need to change in terms of uh, hosting infrastructure? And now we are at Q&A. Thank you. Thank you so much for that comprehensive uh, presentation. Now I know how I can find out if the websites that I own uh, are stored in the right place. 
Um, and with the right infrastructure, of course. Um, yes. Thank you so much for that, Mihail. Um, we're going to kick off uh, a few questions and of course, with uh, with servers and with storing data, uh, the f one of the questions that pops up is about security. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with making sure that the data on the server is uh, protected? Okay, so of course there are always two two sides of it. It's actually first of all um, what we do. And uh, on our side, what we're making sure that we do is to isolate all the, the customers in between each other. So I don't know how many of you saw photos with uh, how a data room looks like, but you can imagine like it's the same like a library. Yeah. And each shelf represents a server. Now, all those servers are sitting one above the other one below the other one next to the other um, and they share you know some common equipment so it's very important that even though they are so close they are very well isolated so the the common points uh, through which all the, the the data is passing through uh, is actually very very isolated Take into account that in our solution, we sell only dedicated servers, not not isolated server, uh, not virtualized servers. It's very easy for us to uh, offer security on that side. But then, of course, it's also a matter of security in terms of uh, how the databases are encrypted in the application. You know, the, um, the root user, the root password, uh, the certificates for, uh, you know, accessing that server. So there is a bunch of uh, tools out there for this too. It's called vulnerability testing. And then for manual testing, um, uh, it can be penetration testing. Um, we actually work and we have our infrastructure tested periodically by a penetrating testing company, uh, which is um, a group of former hackers, so we score very well and each time they find something new, we make sure to fix it. Perfect, thank you so much for that. Uh, with that, uh, our time is slowly running out. I would like to encourage everybody to go to the expo area where bare metal servers is over there and they can interact with your colleagues. Mihail, I'm also going to ask you to come to my connector and interact with fellow participants. And I'd like to thank sure. you so much for uh, for being here in the session. Thank you everyone for, for being here and uh, thanks Andre as well for, for moderating this session. Thank you, have a nice afternoon.